I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended to the dead. The third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Hello, Bible readers. My name is Miss Sarah. And my name is Bernard. Gloria. My name is Pickles. Gloria. My name is Gloria. Oh. <laughs> Gloria. You are so very silly. I know. <laughs> well, friends, how was your Christmas? Okay, I want you to think of one special thing you did for Christmas, and we're going to shout it out. So think about it. Get that one thing in your head. All right, ready? I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. What? Wow, it sounds like you all had a great time celebrating. Hey, Gloria, what did you do for Christmas? Oh, well, I had so much fun. We read the Christmas story from the Bible. We made a cake for Jesus. And we opened some presents. Oh, wow, that sounds like such a fun day. Well, last week, friends, we talked about how God the Son came to Earth as a baby by the power of the Holy Spirit. And after Jesus was born, he did some pretty incredible things. Gloria, do you remember some of the amazing things that Jesus did on earth? Oh yes, he made blind people see. Oh, and he gave people the ability to walk after not being able to for a long time. Oh, and he forgave people's sins. Well, those are some great examples. This week, we are going to keep looking through the Apostles' Creed together. And today, we are going to learn that Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. Um, those were some big words and I did not understand. Can you explain it to me after we sing our Apostles' Creed song? Absolutely. All right, friends, let's stand, let's sing, let's worship God together.
the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. This is what I believe. Friends, we believe that Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried, and he descended to the dead. Um, okay. Can you break that down just a little bit? Who was this plate guy? Pontius Pilate. It, he was the governor who was in charge of ordering Jesus to die. Now, he knew that Jesus was innocent. He knew he hadn't broken any of God's written laws. But the people didn't believe that Jesus was God. Oh, that is so sad. Jesus never did anything wrong, but he still had to die. Well, he didn't just have to die to take the penalty of our sins, but he chose to die so that we could have a friendship with God. Let's open our Bibles and take a closer look. The Bible is the true word of God. It's from God and it's about God. So I've got my Bible here and we're gonna open to 1 Peter 3, verses 18 and 19. So. Pull mine up here. Okay. It says, For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, in which he also went and made proclamation to the spirits in prison. Friends, this verse says that Jesus suffered for sins. He was crucified on the cross to bring about God's rescue plan. That was to save sinners like you and sinners like me. You say crucified and the verse says Jesus was put to death. So what does that mean? Did he actually die? Yeah, Jesus actually died on the cross. There were guards in charge of making sure he was dead, so they pushed a spear into his side. Oh, that is really hard to hear. It makes me sad that Jesus died and that Pontius Pilate let it happen. I know, Gloria. It's hard for me too, but it's important to remember that sin is serious and it deserves punishment. We choose our way over God's perfect ways. But God the Son chose to leave heaven and come to earth as Jesus, as part of God's perfect rescue plan. So God sent Jesus because he loves us so much and he wants us to be part of his family? Oh, wow. The cross shows us the deep, deep love of God and his plan to save sinners. That's right. 
let's take a quick drawing break to draw a little bit about what we've learned and then we'll come back and learn more. Let's draw. Hey Rip Kids, it's Miss Sarah here and I can't wait to draw together. Do you have your Apostles Creed book? If you don't, that's okay. Just get out a piece of paper for today. And if you do, make sure you grab it, open it up to pages 10 and 11, and some coloring supplies so that we can get started. So today we learned from the Apostles' Creed that he suffered under Pontius Pilate, that's Jesus, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. So we're going to draw a cross to help us remember that. So I'm going to take my marker and in this big space is where I'm gonna draw today. So we're gonna do a big rectangle. Like that. And then we're gonna draw the sides of the cross like this. So a little above halfway. I draw one side. And then the other side. All right, I'm gonna do some coloring. So I have brown um, because the cross is wood, so wood is kind of a brownish color, but you can use whatever color you have, whatever color you want. You can be creative. God created us to be creative people. Now, one other thing I'm going to do to help this look a little bit more like wood is I'm going to add some of the lines that you might see on wood and some of the knots. So, if you look at our picture, they're just kind of some lines that go down the cross. And they're usually pretty thin. Sometimes they separate like that. You might have a knot in the wood. kind of like that. So hopefully your picture this week helps you remember that Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and he descended to the dead. Let's get back to the message. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions and you'll have five seconds to shout out the answer. Are you ready? Number one, who was the Roman governor who sentenced Jesus to die? Pontius Pilate. Number two, what amazing things did Jesus do while he was on earth? He made blind people see, gave people the ability to walk, and forgave people's sins. Number three, did Jesus actually die? Yes. Number four, did Jesus ever sin? No, he lived a perfect life, obeying all of God's written laws. Number five, why did Jesus die on the cross? To save his people from their sins as part of God's perfect rescue plan. Okay, how'd you do? Did you learn something new? Were you reminded of something true, pure, or lovely? Okay, let's get back to the message. Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so before the break, we talked about how Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and he descended to the dead. Wait a second. I don't think we talked about that last part yet. Oh, you're right, Gloria, we didn't. 
That last part was in the verse we read in 1 Peter, and it said that Jesus proclaimed victory over sin and death. Jesus' body was buried in the tomb, but his soul went to tell everyone who had died before him that he had taken the punishment for their sins. Whoa! So now everyone who had trusted God before Jesus was saved? Yep. And because Jesus died and was buried, our sin is too. Let's open our Bibles again. This time we're in the book of Romans. So Romans 6, 6 and 7 says, We know that what we used to be was nailed to the cross with him. That happened so our bodies that were ruled by sin would lose their power. So we are no longer slaves of sin. That's because those who have died have been set free from sin. Friends, our bodies and, and our minds are ruled by sin, but Jesus came to take the power and to take the penalty of our sin so that we can be free. Wow, so Jesus took the punishment for sin when he died on the cross. Now when God sees us, he sees us like Jesus. Jesus gave us his perfect report card. Yes, it says because Jesus died, our sin is dead too. When we turn from sin and we turn to Jesus, we get the power of the Holy Spirit to help us change the way we think and to live new lives. Well, God's plan is amazing. I can't wait to tell others this week about how amazing God is. Hey, you just reminded me of our memory verse. Let's read it together, friends. Can you read along with me? But in your hearts, regard Christ the Lord as holy, ready at any time to give a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. 1 Peter 3.15 When we trust in Jesus as Lord, we get his power to tell others about the hope that Jesus brings. The hope that Jesus brings is victory over the penalty and power of our sin. God's perfect rescue plan shows us that each one of us is valuable and important to God. He sent his son Jesus for you, for you, and for me. Wow. Jesus uses each of us to bring more people into God's family. We can tell others about Jesus' death on the cross, and we can show love to others by living in a way that shows our sin is buried and gone. That's a great way to put it, Gloria. Because Jesus died, so did our sin. And because Jesus came back to life, we will get a new life in him. But we'll talk a little bit more about that next time. Let's look at our takeaway. Can you read it, Gloria? And we'll all repeat after you. Sure. Jesus' death. Jesus' death. Was a victory over the penalty. Was a victory over the penalty. And power of my sin. And power of my sin. I had so much fun talking about God's perfect rescue plan with all of you today. Don't forget to tell someone in your house what you learned about God today. And don't forget to hang on to your Apostles Creed books because we'll use those each week and share what you're learning in there with your grown-ups at home. Okay, let's pray. Can you bow your heads with me? Okay. Dear God, your rescue plan is perfect. It's beyond what we can even understand. The sacrifice that you gave your beloved son for our sins. Man, I, I am just in awe of you. Lord, thank you for these kids. Thank you that, that they are joining us each week to learn about you, to praise you, to read our Bibles together, and um, to, to 
be part of our church family together. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you that we got to celebrate him um, yesterday. And I, I pray God that we remember not to just celebrate him one day of the year, but we celebrate him every day and every minute of our lives. We love you so much. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Bye, everyone.